had a um, record-breaking year this year, which is absolutely fantastic. Every month has been way ahead of where we were in 2019. Yeah, so business is in record-breaking month after month after month. It's been um, a very good year given the circumstances, but um, you never know what's around the corner in travel. So uh, yes, we can have a, a small period where we reflect on the year and um, talk about how well it's gone, but. We should also be thinking of the future. We should be learning from the mistakes of this year. Nobody was perfect during um, the various issues that we had. And we've got to be prepared for the next thing that's going to happen. Yeah. And in travel, it's not a case of if something's going to happen, it's when. The branch of Garden is extremely well, and um, a lot of the products we are selling is cruise. So again, value for money customers are looking, not necessarily for cheapest, but they're looking for value, what's included, what's that all-inclusive package, so they know what they have to budget for and what they're spending when they're in resort. So really seeing crews taking off this year. Premium travel is doing exceptionally well, experiential travel doing exceptionally well. Uh, we're over 90% leisure, UK leisure, on where we were in 2019. Demand is there, I think customers want to travel, they were locked down for quite a long period of time. Cruise is doing exceptionally well, um, a whole new market to cruise as well. are not willing to forgive the holiday, they're still travelling, so I do think that will still continue moving forward. I think it's still a very important um, purchase. You, you, you look at the statistics, people are spending less on lottery tickets, on uh, streaming dinner, services, yeah. going out for dinner, yeah. you know, social events, and they are protecting the holiday. It's such an important part of people's lives. <laughs> High streets need reinvigorating. There probably needs to be a review of rates, there needs to be a review of parking, of the, uh, the traffic around town centres, low emission zones aren't helping. Maybe some of the use needs to be changed in commercial properties to residential, get people living in the high street, get mixed use properties, try and breathe a bit of life into it. We need to do something because independent travel agents, as I said, they're the heart of the community, they offer a fantastic service, but certainly you know, in, in parts of the country, the, the high street is um, still in decline. So we're doing very well from a recruitment point of view, a lot of people are joining. And then, obviously, the, the, the Travel Council, the franchisees we had, did such a good job of looking after the customers through the turbulent times that were with COVID, that is now paying off. So the demand and actually referrals is nothing better than customer referral. And the customers that were looked after are referring people who are narrowly may not have booked with us. And I think since the pandemic, it's shown that uh, holidays are very good for mental health. It's a, you know, a change is as good as a rest type thing. It reunites families and, uh, you know, long may it continue. We'll be very happy to keep taking people away on their well-deserved holiday. And, of course, giving them a package holiday they can trust. The personal touch of whether that's face-to-face -face or over the phone, consumers are looking for people that they can trust. And that's incredibly important. I think in both our businesses, that's something that high up and was really, really important given the last few years. Well, it's been great to host Travel Weekly at the Google offices here once again this year. Today I talked a bit about what does AI mean for your business? Well, we see AI as that third big shift. We first had the internet, then we had mobile, and now we've got AI. And when I think about how it can add value to your business, I think about it through the lens of three areas. Firstly, how it can deliver marketing efficiencies for you. Secondly, how it can supercharge your customer experience. And thirdly, how you can really automate some of those operational tasks and get that productivity up and across your whole workforce. AI is that third big shift. It's fundamentally gonna change the way that we work, the way that we live, and the way that we experience the world. And I'm excited to see what comes ahead.